Praise God, sister. I'm proud of you. You've obeyed the call and you've done something that most uh, professing Christians certainly wouldn't do, I don't think. But that's because we're not all sold out and ready to go through torture, death, come what may for him. But he went through all of it for us, so I don't really understand that part. Um, but over the years, yeah, a lot of experiences, a lot of downloads from God, a lot of um, prophecy and things like that. But with that comes extreme, extreme spiritual warfare, especially since a few weeks ago I got totally sober and uh, started a Zoom meeting and all that. And uh, the devil's been trying to mess with my gift of prophecy, make me doubt, uh, make me prophesy in the flesh, which is false prophecy and things of that nature. I've had to humble myself, you know what I mean? Um, just because a prophet messes up, just so you know, doesn't make them a false prophet, man. I feel the joy of the Lord right when I say that. You know what I mean? We're all in a learning process, and we got to make sure that we're not in our emotions at all. You know what I mean? And really test the spirit. And if we're unsure about something and it's not associated with God's peace and his joy, hallelujah, it's not him. So I'm learning that also, you know. Um, but praise God, you know, humans are not our judge. <laughs> Thank God. Because I'd be in hell <laughs> otherwise, right? But I'm proud of you. Yeah, I do receive a lot from him but it's just it comes with very very intense warfare and he tries to send that spirit of confusion and fear at me a lot so I'd appreciate prayer honestly um, and I will pray for you in Jesus name that the purpose of God that it, that is for you would continue to be uh, fulfilled through your body in Jesus name both physically and spiritually love you so much in Jesus name stay encouraged you know, we're almost there. You know, it's, um, you know, we don't know the exact day or hour, but you were saying, um, as far as the 144,000, they're almost all sealed. I'd really like to hear more from you. Um, I would like to, you know, selfishly, I'd like to add you to the group chat that we have going because God showed me that most of the people that are in there are part of the, that group. And that group is spiritually just like Paul said. He is a Jew who is one inwardly. So even as people are interpreting Revelation, I'm sure you know, uh, with the 144,000, they're interpreting it physically. They don't really understand um, that most of that book is spiritual. It's not physical. So people are looking for like actual bloodline Jews and stuff like that. When it's spiritual, these are uh, baptism of fire remnant soldiers, you know, filled with the fire of the Holy Ghost. These are the 144. And, uh, you know, those willing to go through torture and death they have completely humbled themselves, shed all pride, shed all, you know, of self. You know what I mean? And they're ready to walk in His power. Oh my gosh, I feel His power. Hallelujah! In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Just as I close the door of the ark, my children, I will close the door of the ark of grace. And you're not taking it seriously. God says I am coming back soon. And my children aren't taking it seriously. They're still playing around in sin. You need to trust me. I have so much for you in store on the new heavens and the new earth, but you will not come to me. You will not let go of your sins. And the first thing that I said, as you know, my children, was if you do not repent, you will die in your sins. I feel the heart of God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my people have been deceived. They must repent. They believe they can still live in their sin or go back every now and then. And I say no. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Prick our hearts, Lord Jesus. Cause us to turn back to you. Oh, for you will forgive our sins. But the repentance must be genuine. 
and it must be walked in consistency, my children. Oh, it is a grievous thing to carry the heart of God, but it is an honor. Oh, it's heavy in this hour. <laughs> oh, God, I lay myself before the altar as Estras. Hallelujah. Forgive the sins of the world, even those who profess your name. Huh? And walk in sin for just a month ago, I was doing this, Lord. And you pulled me out of the fire. Oh, God, and I don't deserve it, but you did. Hallelujah. You allowed me to go to the hospital with seven vascular migraines and a near-death experience, and you delivered my soul. Do not turn back, my children. You cannot turn back to sin, and if you are in sin, you must come out quickly. Do you not hear the shofar of my voice booming in the earth, booming in your hearts? My sons and daughters, come back. Come back. The word of the Lord.